G'day trendsetters, John Will Gravel Cyclist, here with Bob Jenkins, he's Bob. the uh, promoter, promoter <laughs> with, um, what's your company name Bob, you have a company name? Oh, right, we made it up, uh, me and some buddies, we have an uh, adventure racing group. Okay, it doesn't matter, but he's the promoter with Cedar Cross, which is a heinously difficult race in Missouri that I thought was a flat uh, state, it ain't flat. I'm going to ask uh, Bob a few questions. Um, what inspired you to uh, get the Cedar Cross going? Uh, what was your inspiration for this event? We were out just kind of riding out that way and uh, we really just kind of found those trails. Okay. And they were kind of forgotten and like for real like you'd have to stop and look and try to figure out where the trail was. And so it just seemed like a fun thing to do. We'd go out and clear the trails off and we'd lace it together with some gravel. And then it just kind of kept growing after that. Like the more trail we'd find, the more we'd add. And then okay. it kind of morphed into this really long, fun course that ultimately it was, um, it's supposed to, it started as a training ride for Dirty Kanza. Okay. And then we all finished Dirty Kanza. And, just kept doing this. Dude, honestly, I'd say this race is almost an ultra cross race. I've done iron cross, and this thing was almost as hard. I mean, the the single track broke my wheel. When I finished that last second, it's like, oh, Bob, you bastard. <laughs> so, uh, regarding the gravel roads, you go and scout these roads, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, how you found them, that sort of thing. Yeah, we just drive around and find fun stuff. Okay. okay. And, uh, like you said, people break wheels. Yeah. It's like an economic stimulus package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, bike shops, lo bike bike shops love that sort of stuff. Yeah. So how many uh, people sign up for the race today? Uh, we had 120 when I just yeah. quit looking because okay. it just makes me That's so it. nervous. Yeah, well, I understand. You want to try and keep it like not too high profile. I totally Yeah, I don't ever want it to be high profile. Yeah, no. I would, I'm, I'm happy to be a bastard. The more people that call me a bastard, the happier I am. Right. <laughs> as long as it's fun. Yeah, yeah. You know? Thanks for your time, man. Thank you very much for coming. No worries. No worries. That's pretty well, awesome. Thanks for having me.